Workers are still continuing to fix the damages caused by Monday's explosion on Booster 7. A new hydraulic actuator for the chopstick arm was lifted for installation. SpaceX sent a few SPMTs in counterweight to the launch site in preparation to roll Booster 7 back to the high bay. At around 11.15 pm, workers removed a Raptor from Booster 7. Looks like this one was either damaged or failed during the spin-up test. Interestingly, they swapped the Raptor with a new one. Yesterday, Elon Musk said it would be more convenient for the teams to inspect the engines inside the high bay. But you can also ask why they swapped the Raptors under the orbital launch mount if the booster is going to be sent back to the production site for inspection. My best guess is that it could be a pre-planned change that would happen regardless. SpaceX might be saving some time there. Yesterday, Elon also announced a new timeline for the first Starship orbital test flight. Replying to a tweet, the SpaceX chief said, if the testing goes well, they will launch the Starship next month in August. I don't know how realistic that timeline is. But if they can conduct static fire on both Ship 24 and the booster within the next 30 days, then it will be possible. Time will only tell, let us see what happens next to Booster 7. That is it for now, see you in the next video.